right, let's get this shit out of the way. The Lakers lose 98 to 111 against the Toronto Raptors. <sighs> yeah, I could say positive things about Toronto. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard, one of the best acquisitions for your franchise in the last few years. Um, but again, the the narrative I've seen from Toronto is uh, you could have these amazing regular seasons, but somehow in the postseason it just doesn't come through fruition. So hopefully for you guys, it's a different story. <sighs> Yeah, seriously, I mean, the Raptors played well. And they played in Toronto. So, I shouldn't be this upset. I'm just upset at the state that the Lakers are in. You know, there's reports coming out today. And yesterday, really. Uh, owner Jeannie Buss wants to trade LeBron James. Now, these are all rumors and stories. None of these are uh, predicated on any sort of evidence here. This is all just rumors, gossips. And you know what we say, boys and girls, we only care about the honest truths, but I feel like this little bit of gossip has a lot of the wants and desires of a lot of us Lakers fans right now. Yeah, I do not want to see number 23. I don't. Um, I'm being completely honest at this point. Maybe, maybe if it does happen, and when it does happen... I'll be very upset, but at the same time, if you can get back at least two, three first rounders and a decent player, that's cap flexibility right there. That's just removing cancer from the locker room right there. And you know what? I don't I don't care what Braun sexuals think. I really don't. I think LeBron James is one of the worst fucking things that's happened to this organization in a while. He really is. Um, I don't discredit the player, his ability, because even on a losing night, he's going to post up 29 points, X amount of rebounds. How many rebounds did he get? He got fucking four rebounds, six assists, and one steal. The guy will stat his, pad his stats all day, every day. I'm not really shitting on that, because NBA history has been predicated on great players who will stat pad, who will not really go for the rings, I guess, but... Yeah, I like I'm again, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling here because there's really no point to having any optimism this season, right? I mean, Lakers fans, you do realize that, right? We we have nothing to nothing to really be excited for. We're not going to win the draft lottery because Operation Tank for Zion, the the very thing I have been preaching for the last few weeks has not gone through fruition at all. Um we're not making it to the playoffs. We're can, let's get this through our fucking heads. We're about seven or so games out of the eighth. Yeah, seriously, we're that many games out of the eighth seed. I don't think we're gonna get in the playoffs. Um, there's really not much to say. There's really not much to say. On the opposing side, you have Toronto, who's had this phenomenal run with uh, Kawhi having a great season, and I don't know what the hell they're going to do in the postseason. I really don't. And, yeah, as a Lakers fan who knows his team's not going to make it, I'm just going to be the outsider looking in, right? I'm looking at the NBA playoffs once again as a Lakers fan who is waiting for his team to just make it to the playoffs. I'm not expecting anything. I'm not expecting a championship. I really wasn't this season. I was just expecting a fucking playoff spot. But look what happened to the Lakers this season. Look what happened to the Lakers this season. From LeBron James and his agent Rich Paul trying to play, oh, we own the world kind of bullshit. That completely dismantled the locker room. So now you got young players, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, who are shut down for the season. More than likely, if LeBron and his cancerous ways keep spreading its influence in that fucking GM and president of basketball operations head, a.k.a. Rob Palenka, Magic Johnson, if he gets to their fucking heads, we're not going to have a squad. We're going to be Cleveland Cavaliers 2.0. That is not a joke. Because, you know what, you know what this fucker did in Cleveland? He got all these C, 
C minus players signed to these exorbitant contracts, these albatross contracts that you can't move. And Dan Gilbert, the shitty owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers, by the way, he is not a great owner. But even then, he still pays the bills. He, LeBron James has oozed his way for his buddies to make a shit ton of money. Now listen, when somebody makes money, that's great. When you're siphoning off an organization that you supposedly love in a city that you were born, you know, the, the destiny child to, I don't know, he is he Beyonce? Maybe. But you, you were kind of prophesized to be this alpha omega figure in Cleveland, yet you destroyed that organization before you left. Lakers fans, I'm letting you know this right now. I'm very, very afraid of all the trends that's happening with LeBron that he might do the same shit with our team before he fucks off into retirement. Or God knows, he might go back to Cleveland. And this just upsets me because it's, it's just one of those things where I wanted to believe that LeBron James was here for basketball. I really did. Um, if you saw a lot of my videos in the preseason, I was excited about the fact that LeBron was coming. I was excited about the fact that LeBron could change the dynamic of our young kids on the floor. But it's been the complete opposite. LeBron's been average in terms of teamwork. He's been average in terms of leader. He's been, yeah, he, he posts up these numbers, great. But on a very inefficient shooting uh, style, his defense is abhorrent, to say the least. And honestly, when you start having the names LeBron James and as, a, as an executive producer for a 2 Chains album, yeah, that's when there's a real fucking problem. And you announce that you're going to make Space Jams too. Congratulations, LeBron. You have become the executive producer slash director slash faux celebrity that you wanted to desperately be in Miami and in fucking Cleveland. Now you come to one of the most historic franchises, most story franchise in NBA history, and you come here to just ruin it. Thanks, LeBron. Thanks, LeBron. Thanks, Rich Paul. Thanks, Rob Polinka. Thanks, Magic Johnson. Thanks, Jeannie Buss, for fucking up this organization. If you, if you latter three had any fucking common sense and some love for this organization, you would trade LeBron James. And boys and girls, before I go away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay out a trade proposition for you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you think about this shit. We know either the Knicks or the Cavs are going to be more than likely going to have the first overall pick. I would say this. Trade LeBron James to the New York Knicks for two first-round picks. Three if you can push it. Three. I'd say two first-round picks, a second-round pick, and I'd say Dennis Smith Jr. Fuck it. Just get Dennis Smith Jr. or Frank Nikili to whatever the fuck his name is, Frank. Or if you're going to trade him back to Cleveland because fuck you, LeBron, you should just go back to that goddamn shithole of a franchise in Cleveland. I'd say, again, two firsts. If you can get a third first, that'd be awesome. A second round pick. And I'd say get back Larry Nash Jr., like, that's the only fucking person I want back from Cleveland. Larry Nance. He's the only fucking Cleveland dude right now that I want to see in the Lakers uniform. That number seven. Again, I love, ja I, I love JaVale McGee. I love the effort he put in this game. And yeah, I did watch this game. I did watch the fact that the Lakers kept it close and then they fucking blew it in the fourth quarter. Again. So, lots of shit to process right now. Lots of shit to say. Because LeBron James... He's not going away. He's just not going away. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. So, boys and girls, that's all I'm going to say about the Lakers right now. I, I, the more I talk about it, the more I get pissed off. And today, there is a game. Yes, I was reviewing the game from yesterday. But they are going to Detroit, the Lakers. And they will be facing the Pistons. And that will be in the afternoon in Pacific Standard Time, 4 p.m. I don't know why I said it like that. But boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Now fuck off.